Hi, my name is Michelle Jury, and I'm here to talk to you about the assignment, Your Silhouette Story. For this assignment, we're going to be looking to the artist, Ar Kara Walker, for inspiration. And that's because Kara works with the paper silhouette cutouts herself in her own work. She likes to use them to try to tell a story about the history in this country in relationship to slavery and also subjugation and violence against women. Um, a great quote of hers that I really like is, she says, I think really the whole problem with racism and its continuing legacy in this country is that we simply love it. Who would we be without the struggle? And in a way, she's saying our identities are so wrapped up in the struggle uh, between racism um, and also the subjugation of women that it's not something that's going to go away until we acknowledge it. And she tries to do that in her work. Here's some examples of her work which I really think are powerful. This one you can really see the power differential between this large adult white male, uh, I'm saying white because he looks very wealthy in these um, you know, clothing. He's probably a slave owner and a, a s female slave, um, small, young, very slight female slave. And just, he's holding her by the neck. It, it just looks very, very vulnerable and very abusive. Um, but that's the story that she's telling about the past. So how do we get beyond that? Um, here's an interesting work of hers where you see that the female form it looks dislocated from the head. So there's like a, a real objectification of the female body um, and not an understanding of the female as a whole person. And again, this feels violent to me. Um, uh, this one you see a female uh, down on their knees, either praying or begging. Um, and you can see they have the African-American hair and lips, so I'm assuming it's a slave. And they're wearing a, looks like an African mask on their head. Uh, so, you know, basically the whole culture is down on their knees, begging for mercy. Here's one called Restraint of an African-American Boy. Um, who's got a metal collar and these appendages that prevent them from eating or doing anything really. Um, so you can see that's um, very abusive as well. Um, finally, this quote from Kara says, there is no diploma in the world that declares you as an artist. It's not like becoming a doctor. You can declare yourself an artist and then figure out how to be an artist. So this has to do with identity as well. You know, it, to be an artist, you you have to declare yourself an artist and then figure out how to do that. And anybody can decide that that, that is part of their identity. They just have to find the way. I always tell people that art is about having something to say and then finding a way to say it. So as we make these paper silhouettes, let's explore who we are and find the artist within us to do that. Thank you.